Another final between these two. Second of this 2023-24 season, Paul Cole got the victory at the US Open in Philadelphia. Will we see Ali Farag take this title? He couldn't play in it last year due to injury, but let's hope we get a really good five-gamer between these two. What's your feeling on the outcome here, Lisa? Oh, I mean, it has to be five <laughs> sets, doesn't it? And it has to be 80, 90 minutes, I'm going to say for sure. Both of these players, of course, relatively fresh coming into this final. And I just feel that the last two meetings, both being 96, 98 minutes long. Five gamers, as you said, this has to play true to that. Their average match time shorter, much shorter duration than the last two encounters. But there's been a few best of threes in there which could bring it down. Oh, Farag, of course, never winning this event before. Down. Too low. Well, there'll be an adjustment just on the scoreboard there. Farag with that two-point lead. say this will be a 18 to 20 minute first game Farag opted for the much slower start to this one in Paris I'm not convinced that he was quite with it in the US Open despite it still being five sets mentally I thought he was a bit a bit off not quite himself there but in Paris, started the first game just slowly lifting the ball, pushing it around the court, forcing Cole to generate his own power. Cole having to absorb periods of time. So a much faster pace to this first game. One, two. Look at that high press from Cole. The high he is up the court, you'll know yes, that Farag wants to impose One, himself there and have that front court press. Cole just trying to push him back. Yeah, I Down. managed to have a quick interview with, with Rod Martin just before the women's final. Oh, yeah? Caught up with him, yeah, and he, he was saying about he was just trying to get into Paul about being really proactive within the rally and actually taking the game to Farag, not being so reactive. And actually, there, uh, just when he gets his positions, believing in what he Three, can do. Three, two, right side. I mean, we're only five points deep here, but already you can see the aggression in, in his movement onto the ball, the type of shots he's trying to play. You know, we've seen him play matches against Farag where he's just had to go probably an hour an hour worth of absorbing, getting the ball back, retrieving, defending. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And now, but what's been impressive and, and seen him win in the US Open is when he has been proactive, as Joey said, been aggressive, hitting winners, getting that error count low and that winner count high.
that's lovely. Do you know what's interesting? We, we talk about the, the web weaving in the front oh, court three. press and Farag just planting himself so high and it being so clearly far up the court. What if Cole here, I have a feeling that he's just going, however high he is, I'm going higher. And that might be right up at that Hong Kong sign well, at some I mean, point in the match. If Paul Cole's nose is against the front wall, then he's uh, doing very well. But when you've got speed like Cole, why not? Why not challenge that position and go higher? Right in front of the tee. Who says you have to stand on the tee? Who says you can't go further up the court? Take the time away from Farag. You can see, look how yeah. the error, but how early he's getting onto that. In fact, he was there so early that he was a little bit too close to the Five, ball. Three. So this will be tough physically for Cole, pushing so high up. That's what he trains for, though. You know, he's renowned. He's nicknamed Superman for a reason. He's renowned for the physicality and he needs to use it. Did Rod give any indication on what they've been working on this week? Because they've been on court for some amount of hours, I can yeah. tell you that. Yeah, exactly what I said earlier, just that kind of aggression now, into, four, the, into the front and hitting with that bit of extra bite, which we've seen been going on. I mean, it's it's not something necessarily that, that Rod's come in. Obviously, Paul Cole's uh, coach, Rob Owen, who's a good friend and contemporary of Rod Martin, has been working with that and it's oh. just been enhanced with Rod being there on court feeding at an event where Rob can't get there and sure Robin Rod Robin Rod fantastic combination lethal combination as you can see from Kilt again locked in at five all this is what happened in the women's for the Amanda Sobe injury Farag, yeah, you Farag have reads the game. He reads the game so well. Yes, he's an outrageous mover. He's got an elasticity and, and out, natural five. speed, but the reading of what his opponents do is, is something else. It's like a sixth sense. He sees things very early. When he takes balls into the front, he sees what they're doing very early. It's quite reminiscent of players before him, like Rami Ashour, Mercurial Egyptian, Omar Shabana also. Seven, five. Well, Paul Cole's bringing, bringing the best out of Ali Farag at the moment. Just still can't get over the floor. I can't get over the floor. It's like it's a polished floor, but it's, it's, it's just extraordinary, this glass floor. And the grip is just second to none. Yeah, the glass floor has to be a staple moving forward. In all honesty, producing new glass courts. The players absolutely love it. It plays, plays very true. It's not slippy at all, despite the sheen look. The one thing I would say, from a, my opinion of it, is the panels, they're, they're, they're square panels, the silicone that, that joins them needs to be of a black, black or very dark grey, probably black. And then the LED yeah. lines for the service boxes and the tea need to be a lot brighter. And out, six, seven. And that is the attacking length. A lot of racket face and cut. Great shot from Cole. That will give him a huge amount of confidence winning at the back of the court. And this is the other side of the coin. Because they're both pushing up so far, if you do get that attacking weight of stroke Seven and severe cross-court, pass your opponent, you're going to cause problems. A bit of hold in that as well. So both players playing awesomely. Really enjoying this one, Lisa. That hold in the no, front no. right from Cole. There's another immaculate length. Eight, the hold in the front seven. right, hand side. It's been something that's progressed and grown as this season's evolved for him. It's becoming a real strength. I do feel, and I thought this in his previous match as well, there are times where you could hold just that little bit longer. But that will get better. That attention to detail will be there from Colt. The steeper backswing now making Cole's hitting so aggressive. It's clever from Farad, just playing the space on the court really well. Yeah, just had a little check where Cole yeah. was there. Lovely finish. This really is the best squash these two are bringing out in each other in this first game. 
got everything, doesn't it? The variation, all four corners, different paces. But what's so evident is that battle for the mid-court, the high position on the tee. Been really stubborn, both players. Probably the most aggressive first game between these two in a long, a long time. Yeah, there were the glimpses of it in Paris. They had a really good, great match in Paris. Pa uh, Farid came out on top there. It was Just. very tight. Yeah, it was very, very tight. Two tins in the end of the tie break from Colt. But this is superb. It, it's a lot of variety going on here. Oh. Okay. Well, Paul, Paul Cole Nine talking eight. about movement there of Ali Farag. Clever from Cole down the middle. Down. Oh, no. It's oh. so ironic he had an age to play that shot. Probably Drive. too long in a way. It's the same as the game other one ball. earlier on in the game. Same quarter, bags of time. Oh, he loves that shot as well. It's a real mainstay for Cole. Farag with two game balls to take this first. Absolutely love that Nine, one. Ten, game ball. <laughs> Clever from Cole. Well played, justified. Ali Farag rolls his eyes around the sockets, but Paul Cole had him under a lot of pressure. By two points. To take this into a tie break, pretty fitting, really. Locked in at 10 all. went wrong he could have been in hospital <laughs> cross lob coming in thick and fast for Cole over to the forehand side it's a tactic we've seen him use before many a time this is long oh he's not read it and out 11 10 game ball Fantastic squash between these two. That was the one between the legs. He's living dangerously there, Farag. <laughs> then just switching it. Game ball. Third game ball for Farag. Opportunity. Farag's way of shot and on his cross courts into the back's phenomenal.
Look who's got the middle of the court now. Well, Paul Cole's Sorry? using an appeal, I think. No, I said OK. I said Is he okay. going to review it? 12-10 game to pop to Farag. No. Farag leads one game to He's one. not going to use a review. What a terrific first game between these two in this men's final.